Well, again, good morning. Welcome to Full Body Blast. All right, we're just going to start off getting those hips opened up. So I don't care which leg. I want you to pull that knee up, open up that hip, tap the floor, bring it back up, back in. And we're just working side to side. Just working some nice, strong hip openers. So external, internal. Now we're starting to think about being strong through that belly, strong in that upper back. Feet are grabbing onto the floor, whether you're barefoot or with shoes. About five more seconds, and then we're going to take it right into an alternating reverse lunge. Just at your pace. You get that body tip up. And let's settle it down. Reverse lunge. If this is the first thing you're doing today, and a deep lunge is a little much for you, take a more moderate, give more half rep. And as those legs, those hips start to wake up, you start trying to find that deep lunge, driving through that front here. You've got about 10 more seconds. And then we're going to go right back to that hip opener. Three, two, one, and right back to it. Waking those hips up a little bit more. Start to think more about that strong belly, that strong pillar. Nice and tall to the top of that head. Got about 10 more seconds. This is the last time we're working this drill. Last three, two, one, and find your comfortable squat position. And just give me a couple of nice, relaxing squats. You're not trying to wear yourself out. Trying to make sure those feet stay grounded. Chest stays proud. And you're just feeling fluid. Get about 10 more seconds. Last four, three, two, and relax. Shake it out. All right. So lower body should be awake by now. Let's go ahead and walk those hands on out. Find that plank position. And now I want you to bring those knees underneath the hips, and knees are off the floor. So we're more in a beast position. What I want you to do now is I want you to squeeze those shoulder blades back and then press back away. So elbows do not move, squeeze back, press, back, press, three more, back, press, back, press, last one, back, press, and back to that plank. Walk those hands on back. All right. So we're getting some quick plyometrics. And then we'll get into our actual workout. All right, so you all know drop squats well. We've done them before. You're going to go nice and tall. When I say down, you'll hit that athletic position, all right? It's not a bottom squat. It's athletic stance. All right, so as quick as we can, we're tall. And down. Tall. Down. Tall. Down. And relax. All right. I'll be nice. I'm going to let you pick your foot. We're going to do three reps, double to single, all right? Dial down the effort a little bit. Make sure you land solid. Pick whichever leg you want to go with first. Three reps. We're tall. Down. Tall. Down. Tall. Down. And switch. Tall. Down. Tall. Down. Tall. Down. Tall. And down. All right. Just to make sure we're awake, you have three of the strongest jump squats you can do. All right, you don't have to go to the floor. All right, we're loading and we're punching. Three reps. Your pace. Two, one, go. Good. All right. So today's workout, we're going to be working two little circuits. We got three movements per circuit. Working for roughly about 40 seconds. About a 20 second transition time, depending how we're dealing with today. All right. Once we get through that, we are going to finish off with some ESD. So we are going to finish off metabolic, getting that heart rate to the roof. All right. So starting things off, once you drive those hands to the sky, pull that rib cage down. You're going to take that right foot, step on back. Tall, left foot. Tall. Now your pace, working that alternating reverse lunge. 
You were trying to keep that back knee underneath the hips. So it's not a giant step back. It's just enough to get that knee flirting with the floor. With that overhead reach, your rib cage is pulled in. So I'm nice and strong through that belly, working that exhale as I stand. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and relax. All right, big breath. Let's take it back down to the floor. You're going to start off in a push-up position, and we're going to work a lever push-up, alternating lever push-up. So we're going to toy with those hands a little bit. So we're in push-up position, knees or toes, it doesn't matter. All right, now we're going to turn that left hand out to where fingers are pointed away from you. Pull the body down, press, switch hands, pull down. Press, your pace. Work inside, to side. Turning those fingers out. Normal setup, another hand. Pace yourself. You've got about 20 more seconds. About 10 more. Dropping those knees if you need to, especially if you feel like you're starting to get a little sloppy. Four, three, two, and relax. You're breathing, eyes on me. We're going to work an under switch, all right? If you've done strength flow with me, you recognize this move very well. When we're in that base position that we worked earlier, we're simply going to go from here to here, all right? It's a very quick transition, very smooth transition, and then we're going back in an opposite direction, all right? So let's walk through this one together. Beast, left hand's in a lift, right foot comes under, let the body rotate, and now we're in a crab position. Back to beast, right hand lifts, beast, left hand lifts, working side to side. We're breathing, we're gripping into the floor, Turning all on that belly. Fifteen seconds. Every time you get back to that beast, I want you to make sure you reset those shoulders. They're pulling down away from those ears. Last four, three, two, and relax. We're up top. Big breath. All right, we're going back to that reverse lunge, that overhead reach. We've got one more round of this series, and then we move on to our next circuit. All right, set it up. Big reach. Rip cages down. Stepping back. Alternate. Good, strong reach. Shoulder blades are still back and down. So we're not scrunching up the shoulders, but those hands are high. Breathe. Driving through that front heel. 10 seconds. Four, three, two, and relax. All right, big breath. Making our way down to the floor. Finding that push-up position again. Going with that lever push-up where one hand turns out with every rep. All right, set it up. Pulling down. Turn one hand out, pull down, drive. Your pace. There's no rush in the transition, especially if you need that little extra breather. Make sure if we push that floor away, we have that strong exhale. Ten seconds. Four, three, two, and relax. Big breath. Slow exhale. Heart rate should be up. All right, we're going back to that under switch. Again, we're smoothing that transition. 
You can be as quick as you like, but you're smooth. Beast. Left hand lifts, right foot comes under. We're strong. We're back to beast. Going right. Beast. Left. Beast. Your pace. 30 more seconds. If that switch is a little too much for you, you can work that beast position, getting stronger in that setup. So if you're here, all right, we're pressing those heels back, shoulders are pulled down, and we can hold that position and get stronger here before we master that quick switch. Four, three, two, one, and relax. Big breath. We're back up top. All right, we're moving on to our next circuit. Today's steam is a little bit overhead. So this next movement looks a lot like a burpee, but I want you to slow it down when your descent as we have hands overhead and we really engage that pillar, that midline. All right, so we're gonna hold, hands over top, pulling that body down, swap, or first of all, make sure you have room behind you. Sorry about that. Pulling those hips down. Now hands to the floor, hop those feet back, lift that chest. Feet back up, stand tall, your pace. Pulling down, hands to the floor, chest up, and back up. Opening up that front line, anterior part of the body. Nice and controlled on that descent. 15 seconds left. Three, two, one, and finish up that rep, and relax, all right. So we're gonna make our way down to that beast position again, all right? If you need to drop the knees at any time, you can. We know we're gonna get rows, we've done them a lot. We're pulling one hand to the body, so we're gonna maintain that beast position, that beast structure the entire time. All right, shoulders pull down. Knees off the floor, pulling the hand to the body, back down, pull, back down. No rush here. You're strong, you're stable. Eyes are on the ground, hands are pulling towards the lower part of the rib cage. Hips are staying over top of the knees. Maybe start to feel those quads a little bit. Hopefully feeling that belly turn on. Got about 10 more seconds. Three, two, one. Relax, all right. Staying on the ground, I want eyes on me. I'm gonna give you two options. You can either work a roll up, which looks a little something like this, sitting up strong, and then coming back down. Or you can work a roll back where you're gonna start up top, reverse the movement, and then back up to a seated position. All right, whichever one looks a little more appealing to you, you got 45 seconds, let's work. You got that roll back, sit up nice and tall every time those feet go back out the front. Challenging, waking up the lumbar a little bit, bringing out the child in all of us. Or you work that roll up. If you're working the roll up, back of the knees, stay on the ground. Belly's nice and strong as we work to that position. Got about 15 more seconds. Last four, three, two, and let's make our way back up top. All right. It's a benefit to know what the clock is. You can time that just right. All right. We're going back to that overhead squat. Small. This time I really want you to focus on that cobra. So you're going to try to keep the hips off the ground as you lift the chest. So we're really going to open up that front line. All right. Let's set it up. Squat position. Hands high. Pull down. Jump back. Lift chest. Back up. Your pace. Got about 
20 seconds left. That doesn't mean you have to speed up. I want you strong. I want you intentional in your reps. Last five, four, three, two, and finish up that rep. All right, we're done with those sprawls and cobra. All right, big breath. Making our way down to that beast position. Strong setup, okay? So feet and knees are about hip width. Hands are into shoulders. Knees come off the ground. And let's work. Pull the earth. You're pulling the earth. You're pulling all your might. You've got a thousand pounds in your hand. If you're starting to feel the wrist, I want you to grip the floor. Now imagine you're Spider-Man. You're climbing the wall right now. Got about 10 seconds. Four, three, two, and relax. All right, big breath. All right, we're transitioning back to that roll back or roll up variation. You get to choose whatever encourages you to have fun. If you're going to roll back, you're starting off tall. And let's go. Going back. All the way up tall. And back. If you're working the roll up, legs stay on the ground. We're nice and controlled as we come back to the floor. Vertebrae by vertebrae. All right, if you are working the roll back, I'm going to get a little crazy. See what it feels like to tuck one foot behind the knee? So when you land, you're going to be almost this half butterfly, half kneel position. Okay, then you can use that momentum to pull yourself up into our hip extension. If you've done this one in straight flow, you'll recognize it, have a master it. Or you can stay with that rollback. You got about eight seconds. Three, two, and relax. All right. Let's make our way up top. Grab a quick sip of water. Or just catch your breath. Hopefully you have water nearby. All right, so assuming you know what Tabata is, we're gonna work for 20 seconds, we got 10 seconds off, we're gonna do eight rounds, that's four minutes of work. Sorry, I can't stand seeing my, my reminders in front of the camera. All right, so about 30 seconds, we're gonna get to work. You got four minutes of work, we're gonna work pogos. Your feet are glued to a plank. So when they work side to side, they stay on, in line, all right? So that's movement one. All right, the camera picks it up. You go super quick, working side to side, hips are doing the work. And our second movement is our lateral bound, all right? So making sure you don't kick anybody around us, kick over that face, but we already work that strong lateral bound. Two, 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 and two. All right, two pogos. Set it up, let's work. 20 seconds. You notice my chest is staying towards the camera. So it's just that rotation through the hips. My arms are pumping. I'm staying soft in the knees. Nice athletic stance. Four, three, two. Relax. We're doing it again. No lateral bounds yet. Big breath. Athletic stance. Feet are back on that board. Let's go. Here comes the win. You hear some bacon? House is okay. Drive towards your discipline. Five, four, three, two. Relax. Two down, six to go. Lateral bounds are next. All right, make sure you have plenty of room to one side. You're kicking across, stay low. Boom, boom. You can work the room. 
So if you got plenty of room to work with, explore around, staying low. Four, three, two, relax. Make sure when we hit that ground, we load the hip. The hip goes back. We put it all on the hip and the glute, we pounce. Let's go. some time opening up that lateral line. So I want you to reach high first and then take it across. Breathe normally. We're not so much in a lunge position that we feel like we're burning out the quad or challenging muscles. We're in a slight staggered stance. Making sure our chest stays squared off forward. So if I gears to rotate that right shoulder forward, feel that stretch down the side. Reach, 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 and reset. Left foot goes slightly back. Pull that rib cage in first. Punch, take it across. Last five seconds. Go ahead and relax. If you have more time, it would not be a bad idea. Simple stretch, working on the quads, working on those hamstrings, simple hinge, whatever's feeling tight. But for time's sake, that's it for me today. If you are staying for abs, 
Get the heart rate down and then try to deactivate the hip flexors. So you hang out a half kneel for a little bit, squeeze it through that glute, aka your bottom, and try to open up that hip flexor so they won't take over during class. I'll see you all in a few minutes if you're staying for abs. If not, have a good day.